All right, so in this episode of the product research series, I'm also using the product discovery tool again, except this time I'm using the keyword function. And I want to backtrace um, the steps that I use to find this winning product. The product that I found is this drafting table. Who'd you talking about? So the drafting table is a table that you can use to basically like what architects use or artists use whenever they're just like kind of drawing at their art table. But how did I get to this in the first place? So let me visually show you how what went through in my head in order to find this winning product, right? What I did was I went to search, I did a keyword tool, and I decided to go into the arts and crafts sections. So I was like, I want to find an item that generates anywhere between twenty thousand to about forty thousand dollars in reoccurring monthly rent review, right? That, and I want the average price of the item to be greater than ten dollars. So generally, you know, I don't want the item to be that low of a cost, um, just cause. And so I just hit view filter results. So I remember scrolling down, and what I like to do is I like to sort by average rent review. Right, so I just want to see what the biggest guys are, the biggest players in the game are. So I saw that Transfer Vinyl was on there. Um, it had an ID score score of 4.5. Personally, Vinyl Launch, I don't really like to listen to their idea score. I, score. I have a lot of items that have a horrible idea score, uh, but they do really good for me. So I personally wouldn't use that as a 100% metric on, hey, is this a good idea or is it a bad idea? And then the next thing I saw was craft desk. I was like, hmm, what's a craft desk? So I just clicked on this, which is the view on Amazon thing. So I was like, oh, okay. So I got to the page and I understood what a drafting desk was. So the drafting desk, you know, like I was saying, it's like for like artists and people um, that are doing um, arts um, and architecture type of stuff. So I realized the main feature they wanted was like a slanted desk. Basically, uh, but I was looking at it and I saw the prices were there and I did run a viral launch um, I pulled it up I uh, used the market intelligence tool that viral launch has and I pulled up on the metrics and Then I realized that you know, they all sell at a pretty competitive high selling price So I wanted to see on Alibaba how much like estimated this price could be um, I know this item is a bigger item. So the shipping price could be generally a bit high so when I searched it, I searched drafting desks at first, but then I realized that some of the more popular designs right now with a high, lower sales rank had a glass table. So I searched up uh, drafting desk glass and then I looked around to see like what the different prices are, you know, and then this was the same exact model that I was seeing on Amazon here. As you can see, there's a couple sellers selling it 109, 119. Um, the guy selling it for 109 um, has a pretty low sales rank for a thousand, right? Um, right, and then this one is a little bit similar to another one that I found, but essentially they're all on Alibaba, this, these exact same products, and you can get these two and compete with these guys. Um, this is why I kind of don't like the product discovery tool that you guys made viral launch, but um, it's pretty powerful at the same time, right? Um, so this is one way I stay on top of my competitors and it's just one way I stay ahead in the game. Because one, if your competitors are using this tool, the product discovery tool, and you aren't, then it's gonna take you a little bit longer to find products too, right? If you're not using it. Um, so you're gonna have that disadvantage. But jumping back into it, how did I validate this? All right, so I checked on a couple, right? So this exact one was 34, 38. Let's say with shipping, it's maybe like 50 or 60 or so, right? So one of the cool things I do like about the market intelligence tool is that you can just go over here and you can click on the number and you can type in, say 50, right? So it automatically gives you like the unit margin for every single item on inside the list, right? So if you can estimate that, hey, like all these drafting tables are gonna be around $50, you can get like an estimated like how much profit you could potentially make on this one, right? So this one would be $17.96, possibly take home um, after shipping. But this also sells 541 times a month, right? So not bad. So 541 times 17, and I believe if I have the settings turned on. All right, so net profit of that is gonna be $9,700, right? So this one item that everyone else is selling is could potentially profit you $9,000. Of course, 
there's other things you want to take in um, to consideration like hey how can I improve this product well the competitors are already selling the same exact product personally um, I do sell me two products but at the very end of the day you always want to innovate better somehow you either for like this one like you can't really do like a multi-pack <laughs> Um, I wouldn't put like two drafting tables together, but maybe you can add some extra items, right? Maybe there's some pencils, some rulers, or something of that sort that you can add into your bundle to make it just a little more enticing, right? Because you already know this product itself is a big winner, right? Um, and you also know like the glass drafting tables are like a big hit within the space. So like what else like can we really do? Um, so one of the other things is you can look into like the other designs, right? So, hmm. Does this and this look exactly the same, guys? All right, so this one's 39, 9, 33, and 39. So let's say with shipping, it's like 50, 60, right? So if this item costs 50, 60 dollars, right? So say at 50 dollars, um, <laughs> you're just gonna make 36 dollars on each one of this. So say maybe it's 60 dollars actually, right? It's not actually that cheap to yet. Um, because of all the shipping and the sea shipping you have to deal with, right? Um, so it even goes all the way up to $70. This item still estimated to sell about 700 units a month. That's over $10,000 in that profit, right? Like I'm telling you guys, this is an easy way to generate product ideas. For me, um, I kind of hate that this tool is coming out because it's making it a lot easier for like everyone to get into the space, right? So because it's easier to get into the space, you're gonna wanna become a little bit more innovative, right? And for me, what I'm doing is I'm using this tool to really build out my product brand. I'm using it to find other core aligning, basically products within my niche, right? That I can add to my brand. And that's what I'm using the tool for, right? But at the end of the day, this tool helps me generate so many ideas. And this is only <laughs> one of the features on the tool. So if you guys want, to, if you guys want to check it out, I have a link below. It's an affiliate uh, link that gives you a whole free month of the tool off for free. What? No way. So go ahead, try that out, and it is an affiliate link. And if you do like this video, make sure you hit like, and don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, I'm Anthony Bui Tran, and this was my, one of my videos about the product discovery tool. Stay tuned, um, and I'm going to be releasing another video about in the product research series.